Hey, but I'm here to say, my name is Zach, and by the way, man, I have a public delivery to your show. Go, 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 for those of you just tuning in for the first time, I am Uncle Bubba, and this is my digital mailbox where you send me physical mail, and I send you a digital response. This is mailbox episode lucky seven, as Uncle Bubba is very lucky to ha be related to such wonderful artists and such wonderful and giving human beings. This week's letter was personally delivered to Uncle Bubba, a special courier service, if you will. It is, it says, Please deliver to Bubba J. Carmandia. Uh, we have clearly replaced the letter L with a W to make Please deliver. I'm not sure if this is simply how the kids or speaking these days, a very Elmer Fudd-like way of speaking, a please deliver, or simply my biggest fan, if you will, has taken an artistic liberty with the English language, much the same way Anthony Burgess did in his novel Clockwork Orange. Perhaps Zachary is simply continuing on the tradition of mutating a language to create something different where even the spelling of a word is an artistic merriment on its own. Let's open up the letter and have a look, shall we? Quite a bit. We will start with the letter. I always like to start with letters. Baba Karmandi. Um, I am no longer Uncle Bubba, it appears, to Zachary. We seem to be on a first-name basis. I know he is growing up, but, uh... Hey, was up this picture is of a cat telling ghosts to... Haven't the Earth? Quick question. Did you take dance piece? Um... Well, let me see, it goes to haven't the earth, quick question, did you take dance, peace, so the whoop, peace y'all. Um, uh, to answer the question, um, I believe, which is did I take dance lessons, yes I did, uh, I took them when I was at university, we did performances of Footloose and of West Side Story. I, they were uh, just small pieces we did at the uh, Terpscorian Dance Company. Uh, at school. They weren't big. They weren't big things. They were only little um, projects. Um, I was in very good shape while I was dancing. Um, uh, we did classes several times a week, so I was very much um, used to the exercise uh, in that. And, uh, and I enjoyed. I enjoyed dance class. Um, I, would, I would recommend it if you are considering such. It was more, you know, um, American musical theater stage dancing than um, ballet excuse me, or tap dancing or anything like that. Um, P.S. I did it myself. You did what yourself? I suppose the picture yourself. Um, cool. Alright, this is the picture. It is, it is a, a duplexed picture, as we say in the, the biz, the copy biz, duplexing. Wow. I like that this reminds me, I used to get art books like this and I would always tear the um, pictures off. Cool. We have a, a, a conjuring wizard. Uh, if you see his very bright red eyes, very sinister looking, uh, we're accustomed to think with the, the evil red eyes. He is clearly conjuring a spell. I like the, um, the doorway in the background there. Is this a doorway into a dark and sinister realm? Or merely is this the artist giving us a doorway into his brilliant mind? Um, we may never know. He's clearly conjuring up some very magical spells there. It's all around him. He's got green, a little green coming from his, his magic wand there. I believe that is the 
good green uh, Jedi like lightsabers, like Luke Skywalker, I believe, had a green one. So perhaps this character is caught between the worlds of good and evil. He has two polar opposite forces pulling at him in either direction. Which way will he go? We'll have to wait and find out. It is a very compelling piece that will leave us pondering its from very much time to go. I like the, he almost has an alien-like face with the round circular with the big eyes. Very good, very good. On the back, we have a lot going on. The very evil cat, I believe he is. He's saying, go. He is commanding an evil army of rather unusually shaped head people with pitchforks and a, a woman whose neck seems to be her entire body and she is just floating in thin air as the evil, evil cat with a pitchfork-like tail, a very sinister tail. If I may, that is more sinister than a rattlesnake tail, a pitchfork fail, tail, is commanding them. On the underneath, wow. On the first page, we had a, a doorway that we determined could either be a doorway into a, a, a realm or into the, the artist's brain. This side, we don't have a doorway, we have a window perhaps a window into his creative eye, a window into another world where sinister beings lurk. I like it, and there's a, a vortex there in the corner. It looks like this character is, is headed that way into a, another dimension, perhaps. One of good, one of evil. We may never know. And that's okay. Sometimes art asks questions, but it doesn't have to give the answers. It's up to us to truly answer this question, and we may all have to ponder its meaning for some time to come. Is there anything else? I have a habit of... No. Well, that was a, a very mysterious and compelling journey. What we, we all went on, the Uncle Bubba Brigade, we all took that journey together. And I'd like to thank all of you for coming on that journey with me. I'd also like to say a very happy post-birthday, happy birthday to Josh, who just had his birthday celebration not that long ago. Um, I know you are growing up to be a, a wonderful young man, and I enjoy every, every year you grow much more intelligent and much more of a, a born leader, which I know you are. And thanks to all of you for watching. I hope you are all safe and well and have been making the most of the summer. It's a very strange summer. We are still a social distance summer, but uh, that is no reason we can't be a, a fun and a fulfilling summer as well. So I hope you are all enjoying yourselves and I will see you all soon, hopefully. Uh, I don't know the exact date, but uh, I, I hope it will be soon. And I appreciate every piece of art which I have been given. It makes me think about the world in ways I had not thought about it until seeing the artwork. So, until next time, I may be an essential worker, but your letters are essential. To Uncle Baba, have a good night.